keep screwing over your group members, this teacher is tired of your shit. I just want to thank you for this story as someone who is familiar with the inner workings of teachers, mom and dad both teachers, multiple aunts slash uncles, and of course family friends are all teachers. You are one I would have asterisk 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 loved asterisk 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 to have. You give detailed rubrics you daily care about your students and truly want them to succeed. Extending deadlines when they are struggling, yes. Just wanted to say thank you for being a kickers teacher and not letting everyone else in the class get over by these morons. I'm happy to hear that there are people like you. I'm highly dyslexic and had a very hard time learning how to read. It got to the point that in the second or third grade my principal went to my mother and told her that I would never learn how to read. Fortunately my mother is an amazing person who started an entire dyslexia campaign, brought her and helped to run a summer reading camp to our state using some new software, and lobbied the state gov to start some kind of reading comedy. I'm too young to remember the particulars, but with her hard work by the fourth grade I was reading on level, and received an award for reading the most books in the school for that year. By fifth grade I was on college level and now I'll sometimes read three to five books a week. When the fancy strikes me, a love for reading is quite something. I wouldn't have that if it weren't for my mom, and that student wouldn't have it if it weren't for you. This is glorious. I have to ask, so much work goes into just proactively covering yourself for blowback from stooges and their parents. Doesn't that get exhausting? My mom teaches HS English, mainly seniors, and already works 60 plus hour weeks. At a certain point I just won't feel like I'm compensated to care enough beyond a certain point. You are a better person and teacher than I ever would be. Most of it is probably done once and saved. You can just print off or send out the same stuff every year and not have to redo it every year except for filling in names. Especially if they are open-ended, slow to factually change materials. Key does a great job of showing how facts change over time, but if you leave room for updates, you're good to go. Same also applies to things that don't really change much, or that the changes don't matter much, like basic cooking, sewing, woodworking, cleaning, art as a historical or creative study, list goes on. Anything unaffected by new developments or teaching methods, cough common core math, edit, more on open-ended. Pick a current novel and discuss these five criteria. Current means the same in 1990 as it does in 2025. Same rubric. Same expectations. Same prompt. Different subject matter. Timeless. I have two teachers in the family, and while it is quite a bit of extra work, the anxiety of having no proof, if a parent decides to throw a tantrum, or a student plain lies, is much worse than that. The peace of mind makes the extra documentation worth it. It also becomes somewhat automatic eventually, once you have found your structure. My mom said it was also helpful to grade more fairly, because certain students would amp up their participation in class towards the end of the semester, and other would fall to some. When she started making small notes on each of them after every class, she could look back over the whole time and not have the impression of the past 4 to 6 weeks be the main basis for that part of the grade. I see it as 7 successes. Saved lots of parents lots of wasted money if they were gonna get wrecked and expelled on their freshman year, as we saw with Curly. Just because you can get away with it in high school, always a great life lesson when in college they amp up the power level to 9000 comparatively. You don't do the work, the professor has literally zero possible fucks they could give. Tars grade the assignments and you either get it or you don't. Don't pass? Try again next semester for dollar sign dollar sign assuming you survived enough GPA to be allowed to continue. Not to be that person, but I will be. There's an abundance of kids who need help with their mental health and there's an abundance of parents who either blame everything but anything mental or just don't care, and these kids never get the help they need, and lines them up for failure in life. But that's just my experience and what I've seen. I would argue it is a success because he exposed those kids for the little shits they are and didn't let them mooch off their parents for the next few years. Thanks to him, we don't have to deal with them as businessmen or politicians or other high-powered assholes. 
Sure it didn't work out for them but everyone else, including the parents, is grateful. Their parents and the previous teachers failed them. This is learned behavior, reinforced by years of getting away with it. If their parents didn't buy every lie their little angel told them and all those teachers before you slash f one to jet 24 did not let them bullshit their way through their classes then they might have had a fighting chance as adults. Of course it might be just their character, but nature versus nurture for behavior is very hard to differentiate. Wow an actual true pro revenge story written beautifully? You seem like an awesome person who was born to be a teacher. You teach the perfect grades, to actually give people their last chance, to learn important lessons, before they waste a ton of money failing slash dropping out of college, or being an underprepared entitled kid who has no idea what responsibility is. What a glorious read. I always hope for, that when I see these wall of texts, but they are usually not that satisfying. What I don't get reading these, and other entitled parent stories, what has become of the American dream, or common human decency, as in, work hard and it will pay off, I mean my mom argued with my teachers as well from time to time, but never ever about grades. It was clear, that this up to everyone, if a teacher gave bad grades to the whole class consecutively, there might have been some arguing, but arguing and even demanding better grades without any argument or preparation? I don't get it. I don't get how these people work their jobs and live their lives. One last thing, you made things clear for Europeans, but not what HS class is. Dude, they go on doing bare minimum of their jobs. Best working years of my life was for a manager who took hiring seriously, actually used the probation period to get rid of dubs who somehow made it through the hiring process and dealt with problem people. I was his trainer, and he taught me a lot. One such dud refused to follow my instructions you're not my boss, they said. Dumbfounded, because I was their trainer, I'll let boss man know. He yanked them in his office so quick it made my head spin. They proceeded to tell boss man how I was acting, like I was the boss, trying to tell them what to do, etc. I wasn't in this meeting, but boss told me later he stared at them while they monologued. Then when they finished, he replied she is doing what I told her to do. She is your trainer. It is her job to tell you what to do, and it is your job to do exactly what she says. Pop, went that bubble. They didn't last a week. I still don't get it when people's paychecks are on the line why they do this. But they do. Wow, I was one of those seniors back in 2010. Not like literally yours, but I was the same type of student. I never graduated high school. I ended up quitting and working ever since. I regret the way I treated my teachers, and after a while, I was a cashier at Walmart, and one of them came through my line. I was ringing her up, and it was clear that she knew I'd end up here with the look on her face. She could never tell me stuff in school, because I was an emotional teen who just threw it back at her, because I was always right and she was wrong. I acknowledged her facial expression and immediately told her she was right about all of it. I apologized about how I was and we had a different kind of conversation going forward. I never saw her again, but she expressed that even though I didn't graduate my mind had grown a lot and she encouraged me to still seek out education because I clearly looked at things a little different now. I guess she could see that I had grown in my own way after shit fell through. To all the teachers that have to deal with little shits like us, I apologize. This story was awesome. Glad to see a teacher who is using the technology available today to strengthen their class. Some of the solutions such as dated submissions and proof of students never opening work would have been godsends to teachers when I was at school. Keep standing your ground. Slackers need to be held accountable, everyone is responsible for their own outcome in life and there are few cases where not doing the work is better than doing it. I fear for teachers having to deal with the minefield of gender dramatizing and always offended students that must be more common these days. They have a nasty army defending their bullshit and I'm sure some of it gets aimed at high school teachers, already multiple professors careers totally destroyed because of these self-centered spoiled brats. So I hope you can build armor to defend against this onslaught as well. My father was a teacher and now administrator in super wealthy school. 
His schools had policies that, if lawyers were ever brought up, the conversation ended immediately. The only things he had to say, once lawyers were mentioned, was you can direct your complaints to the school's attorney. Didn't matter what they said. And any complaints the difficult parents had, were always word of mouth. Every time he told them to put it on paper they cowered, because they didn't want a paper trail. Reading this was like listening to my dad talk about his day at work. There were seven bad guys. You had two groups of four, that they were distributed to. That means that one senior, that was not involved with the bad guys got, stuck in a bad guys group. Did that senior get screwed? I hope not. That kid took the hit to his grade, and then did all the extra credit for the rest of the year to repair the damage. I know this, because I sat down with him in advance, and explained that, if his project sucked, here's what he needed to do to avoid disaster. He knew what was coming, calculated his grade in advance, and discovered he only needed minimum effort on the project with those seniors to keep his grade up.